Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's faves, number 163. And today we're going to talk about some glossing off the seasons. Don't you love the seasons? Everybody loves the seasons. Some people find it a guilty pleasure. I have no guilt at all. I think it's a masterpiece. One of the great short ballets written in the entire, you know, 19th and turn of the 20th centuries. It's just the most tuneful, delicious, fabulously scored. And that Bacchanal in autumn. Oh, boy, what a tune. Da, 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 bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. Oh, wow. It's just amazing. Glorious. And here we have Yarvi with the Scottish National Orchestra. Just the kind of thing you'd expect Yarvi to do fabulously well. He made the best Glazunov symphony cycle, in my opinion. And his recordings of a lot of the other orchestral music, he did a bunch of them for Chandos, or a few, two or three, and the seasons. And they are amazing. They're just terrific. They are so full of life and vividness, and the sound is gorgeous. And what I particularly like about this recording is that it comes with the, the, the violin concerto, which is one of the great unsung romantic violin concertos. I think the only reason it doesn't get much attention is because it's kind of short. It's, it's a little less than 21 minutes in this performance. It was a sort of a Milstein special, the yeah, Milstein special, a Milstein specialty as well. He did it extraordinarily well. And it really deserves, it deserves to be played more often. I saw it live a couple times. And I remember every time I saw it live, you know, people were sort of like, wow, isn't that beautiful? Why don't we hear it more often? You know, it's very compact and interesting formally. And it also has a fabulous tune. Oh, my goodness, in the finale. Bum, bum, ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da ba da 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 ba da da there we go. Oh, it's just terrific. Absolutely terrific. And the reason I also enjoy this performance particularly is because the violinist is Oscar Shumsky. And Oscar Shumsky was one of those sort of violin legends who, who didn't make a lot of recordings. Uh, not because he didn't want to particularly well, it was because he didn't want to. He had a lot of interests. He was a, a micro photographer. You know, he like photographed little tiny objects and things. He was a fabulous amateur photographer and really just a brilliant guy all around. Um, he came from Philadelphia, I believe, and, and he spent most of his career teaching. It's what he loved, teaching and playing chamber works. So there aren't that many recordings with him um, all by himself. And he only started playing, gave up playing for like 30 years and then came back later in his life um, with his technique largely intact, as you can hear from this. It's a wonderful, gutsy, passionate, totally idiomatic performance and a wonderful memento of, of a really a great artist who we, don't, we didn't hear much from um, in terms of recordings. He had a vast influence as an educator. And if you want to have a good time, go look up his Wikipedia page, which was obviously written by one of his like family members or friends. I mean, they talk about what a genius he was and how he was always the smartest person in the room, but he didn't want anyone to feel bad, so he didn't let anyone know he was the smartest person in the room, but you couldn't help but learn that he was the smartest person in the room. I mean, whoever wrote it definitely, definitely had a, a some sort of fad issue with Oscar Shumsky. Let's put it that way. I never saw him in the room, so I never had the opportunity to learn that he was the smartest person therein. But what he was was really a very, very fine artist and a wonderful violinist. And I, I, I just enjoy this disc tremendously because it's just got two absolute masterworks by Glazunov. Uncontroversial masterworks, I think. I don't know anyone who doesn't think The Seasons is one of his greatest works. And The Violin Concerto sort of isn't well known enough for people to, to start you know, dismissing it. But you shouldn't because, like I said, it's absolutely beautiful. If it were five minutes longer, it would be an absolute repertoire hit. I, I'm sure of that. I, I'm pretty convinced the only reason it doesn't get played more frequently is because of its brevity. But I think brevity is a good thing. I really do, especially when the piece shows every evidence of having every note exactly where it ought to be in place. You know, Glazunov wrote some good concertos. His piano concertos are very good, too. They really are, and also formally interesting. He's a much more intriguing composer than people give him credit for being, in my opinion. 
But if you don't know the seasons, you should hear the whole thing. You should just listen to it. It's like 40 minutes long and four movements. It's really a symphony. Well, it's got four seasons, so of course there are four movements. It's really like a, a choreographic symphony, and, and it's just delightful. It's wonderful, wonderful music, and this is a gorgeous performance of it. There are others, there are quite a few others, but I'm very happy with this. This is my fave because of the coupling, because of the music, because of Yarvi, because of Shumsky, and I think that's all a very, very good reason that I could talk about it and recommend it to you. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care. <laughs>